Okay, uh, we're in the car driving back home after Saturday. Saturday, Saturday morning. morning session with uh, Chat Chai and Carhot. I have conjunctivitis in my eyes, so I'm super, super uncomfortable. Um, and it kind of makes me have like flu like symptoms as well. So I don't feel good. Um, but I'm taking medicines, and because of this, I can't really train at Dejrat right now. Um, so we're going to try to get uh, Karahat in the afternoon as awesome. well on Monday. Um, but it's really hard to like work on things that you're not good at because it doesn't fill you with confidence. <laughs> um, I like learning new things and I like uh, when I can feel the difference, like with Chart Chai, especially the way that he teaches. Um, when you can feel the difference between two things, that's really cool because then you can self-correct. That's one of the more amazing things about the way he teaches about all being according to feel. Um, and today I had kind of a like, holy shit, I thought that I was really on balance before, but there's this very slight shift in what he showed me that is way more balanced. What was that shift? I think I'd been putting too much weight on my back leg and kind of letting my front leg be swivelly. Um, but you actually want a little bit of weight on the front foot when you're jabbing. He said it's like squishing an ant. <laughs> uh, most people would say it's like stubbing out a cigarette with your foot. Um, but you put some actual weight while you're like pivoting that front foot. It feels different. Like you definitely feel way more what I've described, which is how he just turns around his core. Um, and I felt that way more. I couldn't replicate it on the pads at all. Um, but that's okay also because it shows the difference. Um, but you could feel it in shadow. Yeah, he was like, he was like, you jab in shadow like a world champion, but you can't jab on the pads. And it's because I reach across, so like I can feel it's because I reach across. In 200 meters, turn left. We're turning left in 200 meters. Um, but what was good about that is that it was also a revolution in pads, which is that it turn left across to hit the pad step across so that when you hit the pad it's straight like move your body move your body <laughs> it's so stupid it's like it's like when people just stand in one spot on the bag yeah right it's just very similar you're like you are a beginner and that's okay but then you see someone who can like move around the bag or even better move the bag um and it's the next phase so i learned something deep in that today um and then Karahat couldn't come yesterday because he wasn't feeling well so he like made it up to me today by giving me this super epic sparring session with like no water breaks <laughs> at all <laughs> and uh he maybe close to two hours it was close to two hours and he genuinely couldn't do his best like rolling teep trick on me the first two times he was kind of like oh Sylvie's figured out how to not get thrown but then he started getting frustrated that he couldn't throw me on it so he like bided his time and then fucking threw me down with some other stuff to prove a point which I like that point it's all right but uh the thing about Karahat's style is that Generally speaking, female fighters are afraid of being tired. They are very evasive and technical and just kind of like keep people off of them. He's one of the best female fighters ever, but he's not the like pansy keep out of range all the time type. He actually kind of has a Muay Cow heart. He's always coming forward. So he's really hard to train with when you're super tired because that's actually when you really want these techniques. It's a really really good to train these things when you're tired um but because they're not <coughs> natural to me or it's hard to make them natural like take the technique and make it natural to you because it's hard to do that the frustration level at not getting it right because it's so detailed it's really hard. is hard when you don't feel good <laughs> when you're tired um well what was the emotion you were feeling you were it seemed like you were upset I'm upset because I understand it intellectually and my body just won't do it, which is so frustrating. It's like if you can imagine uh, 
having had a stroke and you're trying to say a word and your mouth just won't say it and you're like, I can fucking say this word. Like, I've talked before and then yeah. you're, you just can't do it and so you can't communicate. It's really frustrating. Um, and they're seemingly simple things like when his weight is on his front foot, kick him. That sounds really simple. <laughs> but he's invisible, so it's really hard to see when he's got his weight on his front foot unless he's like, I'm on my front foot now, <laughs> and then I can kick him. And he's like, good, but I can't see it fast enough or yeah. something yet. Um, and then on top of that, just the level of fatigue. You're going towards Bangna over here. Okay. I think it's a turn. Um, the level of fatigue and not feeling well and like there's a lot of pressure in my eyes so I have to like keep like closing them and a couple of times I like got hit in the eye <laughs> and that was really painful like really painful mm. I think it's like when deep water fish come up when their eyes, and their eyes burst well good thing we didn't see that and I'm a deep water fish <laughs> you are a deep water fish but that was not shallow water <laughs> with Carhot at all it was very hard. Well, what did you feel like you're getting into there? Like, are you headed towards something with him? I felt like you were. There was a degree of relentlessness to the way we were training today that I don't think we've really had before. Yeah. Um, it also illustrated to me how fucking practiced that walking around thing is because I cannot stop, stop well, doing it. What are you it. talking about? I do this thing where, like, I, I break and, like, walk around like a... Take a lap. I take a lap. A little pity lap. I'm sulking. A little pity lap. <laughs> <laughs> take a pity lap. <laughs> Dry your tears and eat a sorrow biscuit. <laughs> and come back to but train. But why is this a problem? It's a problem because I do it in fights and it doesn't look good. Yeah. But he also, he walks around me too, but he sharks, yeah, he, which is different. Yeah. So I think that part of it is actually learned from him. When he's walking around me, I kind of like walk also so that I'm not like, cause it's, it's a little creepy when he walks behind me and I'm like, where is he? Yeah, but but he's some, sharking, yeah, so I need some. to shark yeah. more. Um, but so now we go home and voice that, right? We can voice that, yeah. It'll be up on on. So this will be up on on demand by tomorrow, probably. But, so we have another full day with them tomorrow. In 200 meters, turn left onto the ramp. Right. It's the blue one. Yeah. The blue one. And then on Monday, you'll train with them two times in the day. Turn left onto the ramp. I can't go to Dejrat. So um, I'll train with Karahat. I'll train with Chachai and Karahat in the morning and then train with Carhat again in the afternoon, which these, is- And these are just epic sparring Oh my sessions. fucking God, it's two hours of it's just a, sparring. And it's not, it's not like, oh yeah, two hours of sparring, that's hard. I'm sparring Carhat. <laughs> like he's not, he's not easy. He kicked me so much harder today than he's ever kicked me before. He's trying to wake you up. He was kicking me hard. That's good. And that's not as hard as he can kick. He no. was being really nice about it. But he's not going full style on you. No, that's the scary In part. three kilometers, take the interchange on the left. It's like, it's like when the cat kind of swats at the kitten to be like, get away. <laughs> it's like that cat could kill that kitten in like four seconds. Yeah. 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 So that's my update. Um, I'm going to take care of myself, as you say. And rest. I have lots of medicines. I'm on lots of medicines right now. Um, yeah. I'll talk to you guys later.